let us see second character see here from the cellular organization the organization becomes complex so here complexity of organization complexity of organization see here the organization in the living organisms begins from atoms level so here in the complexity of organization this is also known as ordered complexity ordered complexity means the living organisms evolution starts from simple atoms to the towards complex things for example complexity if you see atoms so these few atoms fused to form some molecules and these molecules fused to form a tissue and some of the tissues fused to form an organ and some of the organs fused to form organ systems so here when these organ systems fuse and it forms individual so this individual is also known as an organism so here few organisms forms otherwise the group of different organisms is called as population is called as population few populations forms community so these communities forms ecosystem so ecosystem forms for example biosphere so here this is the complexity of the organization so organization starts from the simple and it goes towards the complex so organization begins with atoms atoms fuse and forms molecules molecules fuse and forms tissue some of the tissues forms organs organs forms organ systems organ systems forms an entire organism so here so individuals makes population population makes community few communities makes an ecosystem then the ecosystems fuse and forms biosphere biosphere is the place of the earth which is occupied by the living organisms so the part of the earth occupied by the life is called as biosphere so this is the complexity of organization so living organism shows complexity for example cellular level to an individual level evolution takes place so that is ordered complexity or complexity of organization so this is the second character exhibited by the living organisms let's see third one so here if you see the third one sensitivity sensitivity and response to environment response to environment so here third character of the living organisms is sensitivity and response to the environment and this is a one more character of the living organism in which each and every organism shows response to the different types of stimuli which are received by the sense organs see here generally sensitivity means showing response towards the stimuli and these stimuli are received by the different types of sense organs so here sensitivity and response to environment it is an important character of the living organisms sir stimuli may be different means stimuli are stimulus which is working on the organism so these stimuli for example if you see they are physical stimuli next chemical stimuli next biological stimuli so there are three different types of stimuli are there which brings response in the individuals for example if you take physical stimulus so for example if you take temperature light water it belongs they belongs to the physical stimuli so next one is chemical stimuli are also there acid or base some more different types of stimuli comes under the chemical stimuli so biological stimuli means maybe a predator maybe a prey and internal behavior which brings response to the environment so this is called as sensitivity and response to the environment 